Welcome to another video displaying my quality work. I was hired to rehabilitate this basement floor which is pitted, cracked, uneven, and unsightly. In this video, I will share with you the products I use to complete this project and the steps in the process of providing my client with a flat and smooth basement floor. I applied the concrete glue using a roller. The concrete glue allows for the cement overlay to bond with the concrete floor. Finally, I spread the overlay. I work one section at a time. With a little pressure, pressing the overlay into the glue while trawling the overlay along the surface. This process can be done with a trowel or a squeegee. I prefer to use a trowel in this case. The goal is to prevent the overlay from filling. A filled overlay is when it fails to bond with the concrete floor. This becomes evident when there is peeling or hollow pockets between the concrete floor and the overlay. To prevent failure of the overlay, it's very important to thoroughly clean the floor, apply the glue, and gently press the overlay into the glue. If the floor is in very bad shape, it may be required to apply two coats of the overlay, like what I had to do in the rear of this basement. The goal is to end up with a top surface that is smooth, therefore a double coat may be required. This floor is now wet and it's going to dry to a light gray color. In contrast to a fully replaced concrete basement floor, a resurfaced basement floor is a very cost effective option. When done correctly, there is no difference in the appearance between a new or resurfaced floor. Resurfacing saves time, money, and the aggravation of hauling out broken concrete or pouring wet concrete. This resurfaced floor is now smooth and leveled. The floor can remain as is, can be painted, and also can be acid stained. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.